Okay, so probably I've entered this way on the eastern side. And I have to go back this way. I think this is where Jens was. I think I uh, cast away over here on this beach. I went here, I met with Jens, and I came this way. Okay, I need to go talk to Jens and ask him about meeting up with Dom, Don Esteban and his men. Surely someone there can teach me how to pick locks. Because I don't want to do any more favors for these guys. In the town, I mean. Because I get the feeling I have only a limited amount of chances to get good with uh, the order. So I can get myself into the monastery. And if I waste all of those chances by helping Dawn's men in the city, then I'll probably not have much of a choice, like this uh, wise guy in the basement said. The choice will be made for me. Steel blank. I'm not a smith. So I wouldn't know much about that. Looks good. It sure does, which is why I'm going to have to use some of this. I wonder whose draft this is. Uh oh, sea vultures. Um, I would really uh, be careful and avoid fighting. I think I'm just so such a wimp. I'm I'm just not strong enough. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do my best to avoid fighting. I should also be careful because allegedly the warriors of the order are hanging out around here. Right? And if I see them or I meet with them, they'll just send me to the monastery. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll just make my way up to Jens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not good. Oh, I saw a boar. I still need some boar skins, don't I? Let me see how many I have. I have three boar skins and a bunch of wolf. So I need two more boar skins. Son of a gun! Ah. 
Man, these things are just brutal. Okay, just one more boar. Ho oh, oh, ho, look at that, I'm back at the farm. I hope Jens is still where I left him, or where he said he'd go back to. I also wonder what happened with Sarah. I guess this is a good chance to find out. Jens, you old dog. All right, show me the way to your camp. Good man. Follow me. Should I go back for Sarah? Hmm. I think that I will. When I get back from uh, the Dawn's camp, I'll go visit Sarah, just to make sure she's okay. Ah, you're pretty tough, actually. to the north. You see the ruins sticking out of the ground? Yeah, I've seen ones like that before. Well, the white robes set up a camp there. If you're smart, you won't be seen up there. Otherwise, you'll be snatched up and taken to the monastery. Do you want to be a slave or a free man? You're really hammering this home, aren't you? Ah, sorry, sorry. You're right. You're your own man. Free to do what you like. Come on. It isn't much further. Yes, you guys really made sure to get that point across, that if I get caught by the order, I'll be sent to the monastery. Got it. I've heard it too, one, one too many times already. Big Swamp. If you follow the path north, you'll come to our camp. And watch out for the hunters. The lazy beggars are always trying to get others to do their work for them. Thanks for your help. You've been through enough. You deserve a bit of kindness. I'm sure I'll see you around. Good luck. Thanks, Jan. Uh-oh. Sounds like trouble.
If someone ever tells me that I'm a good fighter, I know they're lying. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? I'm just taking a look around. <laughs> just messing. Have to make my own entertainment. Gets a bit boring around here. Apart from the rotworms eating people. I'd stay on the walkway and not go too far out into the swamp. Believe me, being eaten by those creatures is not the way a man should go. Hang on, I think I've got a map somewhere you can have. Although by the looks of you, you could do with a better weapon. <laughs> I could do with a better everything. What's the biggest thing you've hunted? The number of times I've been asked that. I suppose it was one of the rotworms out here. But it doesn't always have to be big to be dangerous. Where can I get a better weapon? Depends on what you're after. Some swear by a good blade. Others prefer the heft of an axe. I'm a hunter, so I favor a bow and arrow. I've got a couple of nice specimens here, actually. For the right price, I'm sure I could part with one or two. What do you hunt in the swamp? Less and less. There are only a few beasties. They may look unappetizing, but you'd be surprised what our cook can do. About the only thing left big enough to feed us all is this large worm over to the west. But he's a big fella. I really need help to take him down. Probably a bit of help to keep him down after I've eaten him too. How about I help you hunt this worm? Oh, that's good of you. I'll tell you what, if we kill that thing together, I'll give you 30 gold. I hope you're well prepared. <laughs> Don't want your death on my conscience. Uh, can we talk about that? I'm not that prepared. I'm new around here. Got swept in with the tide. What can you tell me about this place? Ah, I see. Well, then there are a few things you should know. This whole swamp area, from here to the temple in the north, it's run by Don Esteban, our leader. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. He's got some fighters working for him that'd break your jaw as happy as look at you. Wow, that sounds lovely. What can you tell me about the temple? Came up from the ground about the time these storms started, and all these beasts came out of it. Never seen the like before. Indescribable they are. Our fighters soon sorted them out. I doubt there's much still alive in there. Well, apart from the Don. He's moved into the temple now. Don't see him very often. No one really knows what he's doing in there. Me? I say hunt, kill and don't ask too many questions. So, you haven't always been here in the swamp? No. Nah, we used to have the whole of Harbour Town until the Inquisition came. All their magic and robes and stuff. They pushed us out here. Between you and me, I think the Don's pride took a bit of a knock. He hasn't been the same since. Most folks hate this place, but I like the fresh air. New things to hunt. Always felt too cooped up in town. What are rotworms? Mm, they can't really be described. Indescribable they are. They're like giant, rotting worms. You can ask Ricardo in the camp. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. What else can you tell you me about the Inquisition? That? Same as everyone else, really. Don't get too close to them, or you'll find yourself dragged off to that monastery. They're not right in the head. I think they do something to them up there. I'm keeping well away. I advise you to do the same. So, what's your boss doing in the temple? I couldn't say for sure, but he's become very keen on collecting gold at the moment. He's got diggers working these ruins, and he always gives them a share. He's good like that. I think maybe he's planning on trying to take back Harbour Town. Gold commands a lot of power around here. Maybe even more than the Inquisition with their damn cult. Let's trade. Wing shears. Jar chisel. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll buy these. Let's um yeah, if they can help me with more trophies, that would be great. I can also sell some of this stuff. Don't really have anything important to sell anymore. Come on, let's go kill this rock worm. 
That's the spirit. Right. Ready your weapon and stay close to me. Um, sure. But maybe let me heal myself a bit. Okay, I'm as ready as I'll Let's ever be. Draw your oh, sweet lord, this thing is disgusting. Ah. Are you sure you want to eat this stuff? Oh, it spits poison too, great. Nice, well done. Claw and teeth, good. See, that's what being a hunter is all about. The thrill of the hunt, the buzz of the kill. Oh, that's made my week, that has. I don't know, that thing was super disgusting. I've killed that worm. You don't need to worry about it. One less worm is no bad thing. Here, have 30 gold for your trouble. Hey, if you're going to the camp, can you take this raw meat with you? They always need food there. Just give it to Rachel, the cook. I'm gonna stay here, see if I can spot my next challenge. Can you teach? To be honest, I'm not a very good teacher. I just sort of have an instinct for it. Lewis is your man. He taught me. Ask him. Lewis, right. Well, okay, dog, thanks. For all the info and all the help. What the hell? This looks like a gold vein. Wish I knew about prospecting. But I don't know anything about prospecting, do I? Maybe I can find a bed or something uh, this time around. One that I don't have to pay for, that would be a great uh, change of pace. It's goddamn hard to see in the, during the night. Hey. Hey. Your shoe is untied. Oh yeah. Well, I can still kick you with it if you're trying to mess with me. Got it? I think I get it. Sure. Clear as a whistle. Oh, I can actually equip this. Too bad I don't have any bolts. I knew I was gonna need some bolts. What do you want? Man like you has clearly seen some action. Well, you know, I don't like to boast, but I've crushed a few heads. If you want to eat here, you have to work. You want a free ride? Try those white robes at the monastery. They'll give you a free ride all the way to their excavation camps and keep your paws off other people's stuff while you're here. Or you'll lose your paws. Um, uh, I cannot promise that, but... I mean, sure, I definitely will keep my hands off your shit. Any trouble today? No. Expecting any? No. Must be fun being a guard. Hmm, not really. What exactly do you guard in a swamp? Flies. The smell. The dawn. The dawn. Back there in that temple. But my post is here. In the swamp. Sounds like an important job. <laughs> Not. What is there around here that people need guarding from? You must have seen them. Seen what? Those things. Things? The things from the ruins. 
There are ruins everywhere. The ones that came up from the ground. The ground is warped or something. That's where these things are? Yeah. They're all over that excavation site in the middle of the swamp. And? They make me nervous. Why? They're... disgusting. Uh-huh. Exactly! See? I'm glad we are on the same page about them. You ever have any problems with the locals? Locals? They give you any trouble, you just smack them around. Or you could try talking to them. Who's in charge here? The Don. Who? The Don. Right. You don't talk much. What do I want to talk for? I don't know you. Where is the Don? In the temple. Is he religious? Ha! <laughs> so what does he do in there? Avoids being out here. Getting anything out of you is like pulling teeth. That's why I make such a good guard. <laughs> good point. <laughs> All right. Let's try this question. Tell me more about these things. The ones in the excavation site. They're disgusting. Big insect things. <laughs> I wish someone would get rid of them. I can. I'd need paying. Say, 30 gold coins. 30? Yeah. It's worth that to get rid of those things. They're... Disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. Keep my gold warm. I'll be back for it. I gotcha. You must have picked up some skills to be a guard. I know how to fight. And I can handle a crossbow. Can you train me? To fire a crossbow? All right. But it will cost you. I want to improve my fighting skills. 200 gold? Uh, no way. I don't know. What do I want? You were looking at me. I'm new here. I'm just getting to know people. If you don't know I'm the best fighter in the camp, then you won't be near long enough for me to care. Oh boy, this guy's got an ego. I'm sure you have things to deal with. Hey. Hmm. I've not seen you before. Who are you? A fresh-faced young man eager to experience the thrill of an outlaw's life? Uh, maybe. No. I can't think why else you'd be here. There are warm alehouses and welcoming brothels in the town. Food and indoctrination at the monastery. Everybody's talking trash about the monastery, but... You guys are in a swamp, really. A swamp with disgusting insects. <laughs> like that other guy said. Too risky. Uh -huh. Are you a woodcutter for the camp? Just because I'm cutting wood doesn't mean I'm a woodcutter. Actually, I'm a hunter. My lads and I provide meat for the camp. So you lead the hunters? Normally, yeah. But as you can see, I've got vital woodcutting work to do. <laughs> so right now, my hunters are running wild like free spirits. Or they think they are. Ooh. Shouldn't you get someone else to cut the wood? I'd love to, believe me. But Brogar would nail me to a tree if I left this wood unsaw. Brogar? One of the Don's lieutenants, the leader of the fighters, a, shall we say, powerful, single-minded man. And you're his personal woodcutter? For my sins. Why does he want you to do it? I tangled with him, and now I have to pay. We live by Brogar's laws, eh? you? Sounds like a shitty place to live. Brogar's laws? Not the Don's. The Don wants me to hunt. Brogar wants his fire stoked. You judge who's really in charge. Why don't you stand up to Brogar? Him and all his fighters, you mean? So everyone's afraid of him. You clearly haven't met him yet. Then you'd understand. He's over there. Go and introduce yourself. Then decide whether you'd stand up to him. I can barely stand up to a goddamn fly. How can I become one of the Don's men? Hmm. Huh. Firstly, I need to tell you a couple of things. The Don's a powerful man. Well, he was. Since we've been in this swamp, he's hidden in that temple. Hasn't been out for weeks. His wife, Rachel, has been trying to run the camp. She's the one you need to impress if you want to meet the Don. Rachel. Right. Before you charge up to her, you need to be aware of... Brogar? You're learning. Why can't I get to talk to the Don himself? If you can't get Rachel on your side, maybe you could get past the guard at the temple. Maybe. Sounds like it could be worth a try. True, but it's a long shot. Rachel might be your best way in. Can you teach me to hunt? 
Sure you wouldn't rather chop wood? I was thinking Definitely. more of hunting. Then you're talking to the right man. Can you teach me about hunting? Uh, don't really care about being an archer. I would like to become better skilled as a thief, though. Although I don't want to join you guys, so... Hey, you don't look like the rest of the Don's men. Me? I'm the one the rest of them treats like dirt. Day in, day out, me and my workers try our best. And they need us, the bosses. But do they realize that? I wish they'd come and see what it's like. See if they like being eaten by swamp worms. Yeah, nobody would like that. I heard there was a spy around here. A spy? A spy for who? That's the last thing we need. People will start suspecting. Well, keep your eyes open, man. Are you in charge of the workers here? Yeah, I'm supposed to oversee the workers of the excavations. The morale is so low that the men don't care anymore. Why is it so bad here? We keep losing men to the worms. And there are even worse fates too. I'd rather be anywhere else. But we have to collect anything made of gold and take it to Beppo. I didn't expect to have to fight the monsters here. We're not trained for it. And that bastard Brogar should be protecting us. But do his fighters ever come and help? Do they hell? Too drunk, most of them. So the excavations have stopped. They won't be happy when they find out. The Don's supposed to be a fair man, but Brogar isn't, and he should be protecting us. If any of my men were good at fighting, they'd have gone long ago. They'd be living it up in the bars and brothels of Harbour Town. If I'm going to take action, I'll need better armor. I can give you workers' clothes, that's all. And you'd have to pay. After all, you're not a worker. Why should I clothe you? We're all stuck on this island in this swamp together. We might as well help each other. I'll see if I can get your workers back to work. You won't. If I can't, what chance does a stranger have? We'll see. I can talk to Brogar for you. Don't. It'll only cause trouble. We've tried everything. Brogar's not going to listen to you. What can you tell me about Brogar? Nothing. I'm not telling you anything. You've already got trouble. Yeah, but I'm not dead. I'd rather take my chances with the worms than get Brogar angry. Brogar can't be that bad. Brogar is all bad. Ask the hunters. They'll tell you what he's capable of. Well, I offered to help. Are any of your workers around? They should all be at the excavation site. But that doesn't mean they will be. You'll recognize them. They'll be wearing workers' clothes, even if they've got no intention of working. Uncontrollable, most of them. That's what the swamp and being ignored does to you. You really have given up, haven't you? Well, you would in my position. It's hopeless. Hopeless. Hopeless isn't a word I use. Maybe I can do something to help. How many excavation sites are there? Three. One east of the temple, and two right in the middle of the swamp. Look for the artifact crates. They mean you're in the right place. Right. Well, I'm definitely not going into the swamp at night. That's crazy. You look relaxed. The busy mosquito is swatted at dawn. The happy snail does nothing but yawn. We're in a swamp. What's there to make an effort for? You have a proverb for every occasion, don't you? A man without words is like a drum without a stick. Most of the people around here talk rubbish. Might as well say something worth hearing, eh? The Don just lets you relax. Never see him. Beppo's always chasing us to hump crates round. All that effort for what? A pile of old crap. Hawkins is my boss, and if Hawkins doesn't care, Beppo can go screw himself. 
And Hawkins doesn't care about anything. Right. Hey, Dwight. You need to start shifting those crates over to Beppo. And who are you to be telling me what to do? I'm the guy telling you to move those crates. You see, I could do that, or I could just stay here, and that sounds more relaxing. Try relaxing when I've put my boots up your ass. All right, all right, don't burst a blood vessel, I'm moving. Well, that didn't take too much effort. <laughs> I don't like faces I don't know well. And your face is too pretty. Slap some makeup on you and you could work the brothels. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, did you see a big guy with an axe come this way? What are you talking about? This camp's full of big men with axes. You know I'm new here, then. Shiny skin, gormless expression. <laughs> You're not the first. It's the heap of gold in the temple. It sucks in idiots like flies to shit. But there's no one round here that wants to split their share of the Don's gold any further. I really didn't come here for your temple, your gold, or your swamp. I just need a trainer for lockpicking. Where did the Don get all his gold? See that temple? We took it. And guess what? It was full of gold and artifacts and stuff. Now it's full of guards, an ogre, and surrounded by us. There are temples all over the island. Why don't you bugger off and find your own? You just walk in and take the gold from the temple ruins. Yeah, it's that simple. Go on, try it. Then you'll see the beasts that come charging out of those ruins. You have to deal with them before you get to the shiny stuff. You're a fighter, right? I took the advice my teacher gave me. Find something you like and make it your job. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> What's the Don going to do with the gold? Invest in Swampland? We might be stuck here now, but we're not going to be here forever. Once those religious nutcases are gone, Harbour Town will be ours. Then you'll see. What are the Inquisition doing in the town? Pretty face. Shame you're thick as pig shit with it. They only need the town to give them a supply route. The real work happens in the monastery. Fuck knows what they do up there. And you don't think it would be a good idea to find out? You're the nosy fucker. Why don't you knock on the door and ask them? Let's see how many questions you've got after they work you to death in the temple ruins. Mm. Oh, you guys. Live here, die there. You know, there's an ocean full of beautiful desert islands. <laughs> so you've cleared all those creatures out of the ruins. Keen to see them, are you? All right. We'll go to a temple ruin nearby. You help me deal with the creatures there, then you can get your share of the gold. Uh, I don't know about that. What's the catch? What's the catch? There's no catch. Sure. We'll clear the place and split the rewards. You've got a deal. Okay. Good. Follow me. If you're turning on me, I'll just run away. FYI. <laughs> He'll turn on me, won't he? A little more for me. Oh, look at this. Looks like treasure. Nah, nothing that important. Okay, Mr. Muscles. I really should have taken a nap, though. Now. No oh, for fuck's here. sake. So let's have ourselves a little chat. What about? I've met people like you. Troublemakers. Let's get this over. Draw your weapon. See? I knew you were trouble. 
Ugh, I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. Oh, son of a bitch, this guy is tough. And his blade has a really long reach too. Bloody wonderful. There's probably a way to parry and counterattack, but I'm too chicken shit to even try. At least this asshat doesn't counter me. Oh. He does, never mind. Spoke too soon. Ah, <sighs> hot damn. You are so predictable, but at the same time, what could I do? So, you're still here. You made me feel so welcome. You want to stay in this shithole? You're welcome to it. Great. You look what? tired. And you look ugly. Piss off. <laughs> hey, you got a smoke? If I did, why the fuck would I give it to you? Piss off. Why should I get... Uh, a bow sounds nice. What? What are you doing here? I'm admiring the view. Great view. That's why we get all these tourists. Ha! Huh. That and the friendly locals. Nice warm fire, this. Nice and safe. Brogar send you to get on my nerves. I'm just making conversation. And I'm just telling you to piss off. They're all so friendly in this camp, aren't they? Okay, I suppose I can use the bow since I have some arrows. At least I didn't have to pay for it. Can I just get in here and take a nap? Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Maybe that crossbow is going to come in handy after all. Okay, please tell me I can take a nap. God damn, finally. Hey, lost are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. What? Who are you? Craig. And if you want a fortune in gold, I'm your man. Your job is to distribute wealth. Exactly. I arrange little wages, you give me your gold, and you could double it. What odds do you offer? Ah, uh, you're interested. Uh, listen up, I'll explain. You give me a sum in gold, if you win, 
I'll pay you back double. And if I lose? There are no losers. Only future repeat gamblers. I'll just keep your gold warm until you want to try and win it back. And can I be sure you'll pay out if I win? Oh, you of little faith. I'm hurt. If I wasn't honest, do you think I'd last two minutes around here? Are you joking? You're a bunch of scumbags. The How do of I you. place a bet? Oh, nothing easier. We bet on anything here. Who'll be the next worker to get eaten by a swamp creature? The next winner in the arena? Anything. You can even bet on yourself. If you want to go into the arena. People fight for gold. Don't sound so surprised. People have fought for gold since time began. There's a small arena over in the west. That's where it happens. I bet you're worth a gamble. Tough looking fella like you. Is there somewhere around here I can train for combat? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll train you if you like. Always good to get the inside skinny in case you go into the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's all friendly, just a few bruises and broken limbs. It isn't to the death, it's where we train and test ourselves. Well, if you fancy a fight, just challenge one of our fighters. If he accepts, he'll go into the arena with you. The fight starts when both willing volunteers are in the arena with their weapons drawn. The first fighter to go down loses. That's clear enough. Which of the fighters here are the best? Based on recent form, Ricardo's a loser. Lorenzo isn't too sharp either. Used to be all right. Faded a bit these days. I'd say Domingo is probably the best in camp. I want to improve my fighting skills. I've decided to fight in the arena. That's what I wanted to hear. Well done. Do yourself proud. Remember, once either man hits the ground, the fight's over. Carrying on when your opponent's on the dirt, that's not fair play, is it? You'll pay dearly if you break that rule. Right. You'd be a good opponent. Why don't you fight me in the arena? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Think about it. This is my domain. I even bet on myself. Well, you got spirit, but try someone easier. I want to make a bet. Fabulous. What do you want to gamble on? I'll fight Ricardo and win. Ah, well that's not too hard a prospect. Lousy odds, so your winnings won't be great. So... Ricard... Oh! Disgusting. Huh? Here's Lorenzo, so where, do, where exactly do I find Ricardo? Hey, did I look like I wanted to talk to you? The men in the camp say you've never won a fair fight. What's the point of a fair fight? You stick by the rules, you get beaten, or dead, or you become a white robe. I'd rather be dead than that. I'm sure lots of people would prefer you dead than in a white robe. You know what I think? I think sarcasm is gonna get you killed. Probably. <laughs> no arguments there. <laughs> Not at all. I challenge you to a fight in the arena. You think because I'm a guard, I'm soft. Your mistake. Well, everybody else says you're soft. All right, then, you bastard. Huh? Yeah. 
Nope, I'm definitely not doing that again. Not just fast at this, as fast as this guy. It's kind of disheartening. So I don't suppose I get the gold from him, or I'm sticking to guard duty from now on. <laughs> that makes me feel safe. <laughs> Smart man. What are you doing up here? Hiding. Look out! Behind you! A rot worm! What? Where? Has it gone? A sneaky beast they are. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. Doesn't anyone do anything in this camp? Look, don't get me wrong. I'm a worker. Man of the earth, me. There's nothing fancy about moving soil round. But work is what I do best. Tell me about your work. About digging? Well, like I say, it may be dirty work, but someone's got to do it. You fancy trying? Just look for a sandy spot in one of the excavation sites, then you stick your shovel in the ground and dig. Who knows? You might even find something. So, what are you hiding from? Work. Right. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to be working, only I can't. You see all these huge insects turned up at the excavation site. I'm not going back to work while they're still there. I like my job, but I'm not going to die for it. I'll take care of those insects. You? Why not let the fighters do it? And that's what they're there for. Do you see any here, though? I'll take care of it. Which fighters are responsible for protecting the excavation site? Just Ricardo. I've not <laughs> seen him there for a while. Don't think he cares much about us workers. He'll care if the work doesn't get done, and he ends up doing it. I'll have a word with him. OK. But don't tell him I told you. He's almost as bad as those creatures. Yeah, I've met Ricardo, huh? I wonder if someone minds if I take this beer. Hey, what? You bet be from Hawkins. I need those crates moving. Any news? Well, apart from me having bunions the size of hen's eggs, no. Been pretty quiet. Hope it stays that way. Looks like I really have to get into that swamp and clear out those beasts. Get people digging and moving and doing stuff again. But I can't believe there's no thief in here. I mean, it's a camp full of bandits or whatever they want to call themselves. Of oh, free men. And not one of them can teach me about pick locking and stuff stuff. New here, right? It's that easy to tell. Ah. Uh. Don's boys already got on your nerves, eh? They're just bored. No imagination, you see. What do you think about Don Esteban? You can say what you like about the Don, but he's never left us in the lurch. You can always count on his word. What do you do here? I tend the Brugelweed here on Robar's farm. It's not the most noble of plants, but it's versatile. You can brew beer with it. You can, should you be of a mind, smoke it as well. The smoke has special properties, if you know what I mean. What do you know about the Don? I know enough not to mess with him. We used to be out here all alone, until they swept in and took the place over. But stick to his rules and he's a good man, if a 
hard taskmaster. Working in the fields isn't easy, but it gets you away from people. Space to think. Can you sell me some weed or beer? Surely can. And I have more to sell as well, if you're interested. Who is Roba? He's a salt of the earth fellow. He farms this swamp. Well, this field. What do you have to sell? A whole bunch of nothing. And who is this guy? And what the hell is that thing? Who are you? You here to relieve me? No. Huh. I've been waiting for Clay for hours. The sod should have relieved me long ago. Seen anything? There's a tree over there. Some mud. You see anything? Are you one of the fighters here? I am out here. But when we were in the town, well, sleight of hands more my thing. Combats for boneheads. I have a few real skills. Sneaking. Yes. Knocks, yes. Pockets, proper honest yes. Skills, honest skills. Needed. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Teach me. What are you doing here? Are you standing guard? Yes, but I shouldn't be. I've been here so long, this godforsaken mud soaked through to my feet. I'll see if I can find Clay. Bring him here. I've had enough of this. What are you guarding? The swamp farmer. Without him, this place would be bleak. Bleak-er. What's here that's worth stealing? Not much, really. The problem's more those bloody animals everywhere. We could easily be overrun by wild boar, or worse. You don't like this place? Does this look like paradise to you? No. No taverns, no women, just swamp, disease and mud. Thank the gods for the swamp farmer. At least he brings us our beer. I want to be a better thief. Oh, finally. Can you teach me how to open locks? Of course. Many locks have a bolt that you have to push down in order to be able to open the lock. Then you can poke in all directions with your lockpick until the lock is open. But be careful. If you push in the wrong direction, the lockpick may break. What can you teach me about picking more difficult locks? The principle is the same. Push down the bolt and then try to crack the lock with the lockpick. Of course. These locks are a lot more complicated. Locks like that are expensive, but it means they often guard valuable things. Oh, right. Now we're talking. I mean, I've come a pretty long, lo long way just to learn these open locks. Hell yeah, man. Do I even want to know what those things are? I don't think I want to. Oh, for the love of... I really don't like this place. <laughs> I liked it way better in, in the town, in the harbor district. Huh. That look. You've come for protection money. Protection money? Hmm. Maybe you just have that look. What brings you here? Hey, you grow Bruegel. Do you have a Bruegel roll I can smoke? I grow Bruegel to sell it. There's no other way to earn money out here. Do me a favor and buy it. Don't beg for it. Is this your land? It's me that farms it. Then I use the Bruegel weed that grows here to make beer. What can you tell me about the area around here? You haven't been here long, have you? Nope. Let's see. Well, the boys in the camp all work for Don Esteban. They're collecting everything they can find made of gold. The Don must have a fortune in that temple by now. Do you work for the Don? Me? <laughs> I've been on this farm all my life. One day, these ruins rise up out of the ground all over the place. Then Don Esteban comes here. At least it keeps these creatures from the temple away. 
Where did the gold the Don's collecting come from? From those temple ruins, the ones that rose from the ground. They say there are treasures there, and creatures. Could you teach me to make beer? I suppose. If you have a basic knowledge of alchemy, but it would take you years to learn. Actually, I don't, and I wish I did. What's Bruegelweed? They call it a weed, but it's not. Mostly grows in the swamp or along rivers. But you can find it most anywhere. Looks useless, but you can't get hops out here. Well, not cheap, you can't. And this stuff will do the trick. Is your beer any good? There were those on the mainland who thought so. Barley man's export, they called it. Till the island was cut off. Every time you think you're getting ahead, life just drags you down. Which reminds me, the camp is waiting for a delivery. I don't suppose you'd be interested in dropping some bottles off for me? Sure, if you pay me. Why does everyone here see a new face and just assume I'll do jobs for them? Because you need people that will owe you favours. Favours? You never know when you'll need them. Take these ten bottles to Rachel, the camp cook. I need 50 gold coins for them, so I can pay my damn protection money. Oh, wow. All right, but one day I'll want to collect that favor. Of course. Here's the beer. And don't forget, 50 gold pieces. 50? Yeah, I'll remember that. Does the Don ask you to pay for protection? No. It is Commander-in-Chief. The one that trains his fighters, Brogar. He demands 30 gold coins a month, or he'll take away the guards that look after my farm. So someone's found a way to earn money from this swamp. Maybe I could help you gather some Bruegelweed. Well, it would save me some time. All right. But I need deliveries of 10 plants. I'll give you 70 gold coins for every 10 you bring. That's a pretty good deal, actually. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I can always use more plants. There are plenty of people who like beer. If you find more, you know the price. What can you teach me about the basics of alchemy? I don't have gold. Um, there was a guy here. But wait. Maybe this guy has something I can steal. Did it. Okay, I definitely need to learn alchemy so I can make this. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. These I are my rooms. Please remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved by mistake. Okay, I'm certainly not fighting these disgusting things. Hey man. What do you I have some things to sell to you. Oh I don't wanna sell the bow. And I'm not so sure I want to sell this ring either. Maybe I can make use of it. I don't really need that because I have torches. I should keep this because I, I have the tendency of getting into trouble. But this stuff is probably good to sell. beer is all about making the best use of the Bruegel weed. Boil it. You can use the alchemy table for that. That'll distill the taste. Then you can drain it into bottles to ferment. 
Sounds good. Good times. I could always use more healing potions. Looks good. That's what I said. Alright. Now to get back to the camp to speak with Rachel and maybe clear out some of those beasts in the swamp. Although, I gotta say, I'm not very excited about that. Wolves, eh? I should probably only fight the necessary things. At least until I become a little bit stronger. Okay, first... Let me see where I left off. I've just arrived here. I'm not from anyone. Lazy more like. Bet you've never done a decent day's work in your life. Are you joking? What crates? The ones full of artifacts? What else are we moving? Damn Hawkins. His workers should have delivered them by now. I knew it was too much responsibility for the old coot. So you're in charge of moving boxes, right? They're not just any old boxes. They're full of artifacts from the excavation sites. They get dug up, they come to me, and then they go to the Don. Oh, so you're not even moving boxes for yourself, then? When you get an important role here, then you can make jokes. Until then, shut your bleeding mouth. Oh, so you're important. Oh, I'm sorry. What's in these artifact crates? Puppies. Artifacts, what do you think, genius? Everything that's dug up from the ruins gets crated up. But keep your mitts off them. If you're looking for gold, then do some work. You dig for the Don, then you'll get your share. I'll think about it. Yeah, I'm not doing any digging. Let's talk sensibly. I could help you get your crates. <laughs> think you can. All right. We'll get going and get them moving. No sense in asking if you know the magic word. What magic word? Here, you're not with that Inquisition lot, are you? Look, I'll have no magical nonsense around here. <sighs> I sorted out your crate delivery problem. Really? Thanks. Good to see someone's applying themselves. Tell you the truth, I ain't sure why the Don wants all this gold. Ain't like there's much to spend it on in a swamp. Not that I've seen. Anyway, you've put me in a generous mood. Here's a little advance on your share. Huh. Well, that wasn't too much gold, but there we go. Waif and stray looking for pity? Or fortune hunter looking for gold? Looks like I've got another mouth to feed. Too risky. Are you the cook? Amongst other things, you have to be adaptable in these times. One day you've a sword in your hand, the next a ladle. And the cooking relaxes me, if you call stirring wild boar and brugal weed cooking. Sorry, forgotten my manners. <laughs> I'm Rachel. Here, new mouth, take this meat. Freshly cooked. Thanks. I need to talk to the dog. Join the queue. I'm thinking of joining it myself. You can talk to me. When Esteban's busy, and he's always busy, I'm in charge. Noted. But can you get me in to see him? No. Look, he needs time alone to think. I'm always having to turn people away, even his good friends. Why would I make an exception for a newcomer? You mean apart from my rugged good looks? <laughs> Believe me, I've seen better. Unless you have something really important for the Don, you aren't going to get to see him. I don't like the situation. I'm his wife and I don't get to see him. But it's his wishes and we have enough trouble around here without looking for more. Oh, you're back, are you? How are things around here? Perfect. I don't know why we didn't move out of the town into the swamp earlier. The Inquisition are sucking the life out of the town, but this swamp is sucking the life out of us. We used to be close, all of us. Everyone made their share, worked for their share. Now it's falling apart. 
And with Esteban in that damn temple, I'm the one trying to hold it together. Can I help? And why would you want to do that? What do you want, new mouth? Lazy cutthroats, idle thieves, and mosquitoes. Why do you want in on this? Why do you think things are falling apart here? It's those ruins. They've got everyone's mind on treasure. Even my Esteban. The whole place is being dug up. Although I'm certain that not everything that's being found is being delivered to the camp. Esteban makes sure that all the workers get a share of the gold. He's very fair like that. But someone is looking to line their own pockets. Probably that lieutenant down below. You think the Don is losing control? He's... a complicated man. The Inquisition's takeover of Harbour Town shook him up badly. All we've got is this place, and it's fragile, especially at the moment. I really don't need someone stirring up trouble. You sound like you need help. What if I help out? You do that. But, well, if you really want to stick your hand in this beehive, you're welcome to. We can certainly use the help. Everything seems to have ground to a halt. Go to the camp lieutenants and see what sort of problems they're having. That should help you get a picture of what's happening here. Maybe we can root out the source of this rot before it reaches Esteban. The swamp farmer sent me with ten bottles of beer. Ah, oh, I wondered when that was going to arrive. Thank you, that saved me a walk. Do I want to give it for free? Uh, uh, should I be this generous? Here, take the beer. Great. Hope Robar's doing okay out there. He's a decent man. Hard working, too. Who do you think it is lining their own pockets? And what would happen to them if you knew who it was? He'd be dead. Esteban's not a forgiving man. So it seems. About your camp. I was told you're short of food. You need more meat? Finally, someone who wants to do some work. Yes, I need ten haunches of raw meat. You bring me the meat, and I'll put a little gold your way. I never say no to gold. Here. Ten haunches of meat, as requested. Thanks. These are pretty good cuts. Looks like you've got a skill for hunting. Here's your gold. Hunting doesn't pay that well, then. Take it or leave it. That's what you're getting, and it's enough to fill your stomach or get you drunk. Your choice. Your deliveries of artifact crates will be starting again. Thanks. I didn't want to worry Esteban about that. Not after everything that's happened. So who are the lieutenants here? If you can't find that out yourself, how are you going to help me? Just go and talk to everyone. You'll find them. You'll soon see who's in charge and who thinks they are. By the way, the fighters are holding show fights in the arena. Well, they need something to work out their aggression. Leave them to knock each other's brains out. It stops them bothering us. Craig is running a betting ring. He knows Esteban doesn't like that kind of thing. It just ends up with the men arguing. This could be the spark that sets everything off. Go and tell Craig I said to stop it if he knows what's good for him. Brogar is collecting protection money from the people here in the camp. What? Are you sure? Hmm. I'd be surprised if he were being that brazen about it on his own doorstep. Do you have proof? Solid proof. If you could get me something concrete, that would help things here a lot. I'm working on it. Well, I'm certainly getting friendly er with these people. Don't think I can't see what are you doing in here? Yeah, I didn't think so. Did it. Are you the local blacksmith? Blacksmith? I look like I spend my days making fucking old shoes. I'm a pewterer, a gilder, a worker of fine metal, and I'm not looking for an apprentice. 
Particularly one that doesn't know the difference between a metal worker and a smith. If I did want to learn about metalworking, how could I persuade you to teach me? You're not listening. Someone spit in your ear or steal your brain. I don't want an apprentice. So why don't you just fuck off? <laughs> mm, your work here is not too bad, but I've seen better. You've seen better? And you're an expert, are you? You wouldn't know decent metal work if someone shoved it up your ass and wiggled it around. <laughs> you want to look again and reassess your thoughts? Or you want me to show you some really close up? Do you need help? I'm looking for work. No one here looks for work. The only thing people here look for is gold. And you don't look like you're any different. Do you work with gold? Gold. Gold. Nothing but gold. You just see the money in it, don't you? Well, there's no point you thinking about getting wealthy here. Every crumb of gold out there belongs to the Don. Everyone has to give their gold to the Don. If you know what's healthy for you, once a month you have to take the Don his share. And how much is his share? You see anyone round here looking wealthy? Not unless mud is the local currency. Well, you should see the gold he has in his temple. Hordes of it. Ha! I can see that look in your eye. Fancy a slice to you. You'll end up in pieces with those thoughts in your head. How do I get to see the Don? What do you want to see the Don for? Huh. Try standing on a tree outside the temple. You're not going to get closer than that. I'm looking for new weapons. Looking is for losers. Paying gets you the goods. You're really starting to get on my nerves. Can you actually give me some concrete stuff? Have you got any sword blanks? It's just what I got here. My stock of ore is empty. You bring me some iron ore, I can make you some blanks. There must be some way to see the Don. Something he wants. If it doesn't glitter, he doesn't give a toss. I wouldn't be surprised if one day he had his wife gold plated. Is there something he wants then? Something in gold he doesn't have. We found a sword pommel. Beautiful bit of work. Supposed to belong to some garrison commander before he pissed off an ogre. You find the blade for that pommel that Donna kiss your airy ass. Fuck it, I would too. I'll find the blade the Don wants. You wanna look for it? Be my guest. But you take one piece of that blade for yourself. One bit of glittering gold. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Hear about it. I wouldn't dream of it. Where can I find this sword blade that Don wants? If you believe the stories, the ogre dragged the garrison commander off where those temple ruins are. If anyone has found anything there, they're bound to shoot their mouth off. Particularly seeing as those bits of blade will be covered in gold. There's a pisshead called Lewis. Reckon he'd seen something. But he's a sack of shit. So you want to restore the sword for the Don? If I can get all the pieces. Can't do jack shit without all the pieces. What have you... Oh, this guy has quite a few things to sell. But nothing I can really use. Except from... Except maybe for these lock picks, but that's going to be super expensive. Should I sell this string? Uh, probably. And here I am, broke again. I'm not a smith. And I still don't have any armor. I challenge you to fight in the arena. No chance. Where's the guy with the bets, though? Ricardo's made of rice paper and spit. You'll find tougher. Here, your winnings. 
Have you come across a piece of a sword blade? The one Oscar's trying to piece together. He wants to make a sword for the Don, I believe. And? And I might have a piece of it. Oscar tried to buy it from me, in fact. But he wasn't offering enough, so I thought I'd hang on to it. Will you sell me your piece of the sword? It'd have to be for, uh, no less than 100 gold. I'll give it some thought. That's the deal. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face you in the arena. There's gold on the table. How can I refuse? Let me know when you want this to start. I can't even afford that. And I probably can't even take this guy on. Thought you might like to know Dwight. Yeah, your group. Okay, so I'm supposed to kill some of these beasts around here. Are you fucking crazy? Are you kidding me, dude? What do you mean I'm crazy? Whoa! Man, that scared the absolute life out of me. Yeah, so do I. Job done. You needn't worry about those things in the excavation site anymore. You killed them? Right. 30 gold coins, wasn't it? Worth every one. Thanks. Pleasure talking to you. Right. I'll look forward to our next conversation. Aren't you supposed to be protecting the excavation site in the swamp? I am. The worker, Brannon. He says he's been waiting forever for you. I don't care about workers. I can see why they made you a guard. I should probably talk to Rachel about this. <laughs> I can see why they made you a guard. <laughs> Funny. Ah, look at that, nice. A little more for me. Axe fighting. Uh, I really don't care about axe fighting. Okay, so I finally got some bolts. I can equip this ring. And hopefully I'll do a little bit more damage. Reloading and drawing. Uh, man, that's not that important. Useless amulet. Okay. I wonder what's that for? Oh, it's one of those uh, disgusting things. What the hell are those things anyway? Damn it, I missed. <sighs> Whoa! I mean, holy smokes! Yeah. Ah. 
And I mean, what the hell is this thing even? Ouch, 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 ouch. I really think I'm going to consider investing into strength. I need to wield some better weapons. Because this is ridiculously bad. I do have some learning points. Hmm. Craig, I think he could teach me. See why people don't stand up to Brogar? A few bruises won't stop me. You're lucky it wasn't stab wounds. His armor and those fighters make him feel tougher than he is. For you, maybe. For me, that's why I don't tangle with him. What are you talking about? Brogar is a big fish in a small pond. And those are giant words. So big, I don't think you know what you're saying. I know some people wouldn't have a problem if he disappear. I won't be responsible for what Brogar would do to you. Let me worry about that. You should worry. You're serious, aren't you? What would I have to do to deal with him? If you work for him, do what he tells you and listen to everything he says. He'll let things slip. But you do know what you're proposing is dangerous. I need some better armor. You won't find it out here. There's only workers' clothes here. Well, what about your armor? Where did that come from? Armor for the hunters and fighters comes from the Don. But you won't get close to that if you're not accepted as one of us. Right, so I've got to join the Don's gang first. All right. Where can I get workers' clothes? Hawkins is your man. He's one of the Don's lieutenants. He's in charge of the workers. I could help you. Helpful sort, aren't you? You better not have landed me in it with Brogar. For them, one's trouble is another's ease. Rachel needs this meat, so she'll be happy. Take note, sometimes it's better to take sides and end up in the middle. About... I met a hunter called Ian. You haven't mentioned him. He got himself posted as a guard on the road to Harbour Town. We never see him back here these days. That's another hunter less feeding the camp. What can you tell me about your hunters? Well, there's Lewis. I haven't seen him for days. I expect he's under a rock in the swamp. Not even the swamp flies bother him when he's at a skinful. Doug should also be in the swamp. He should be hunting. I haven't seen him for days either. And of course you know what delightful tasks I have to do. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You'd better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. About Brogar. I found out Brogar is collecting protection money here in the camp. That would be his style. What a bloody evil thing to do. But it's good information. You might be able to use that at the right time. But be careful. Who knows about Brokaw and wouldn't mind talking to me? Talk to Lewis, one of my hunters. He knows a few things, more than you'd think. Start with him, see what he says. How does Rachel feel about it? She's soft. Brogar bullies her. And she's like that, even though the Don's behind her. Brogar's fighters are staging fights in the arena. Would the Don approve of that? You'd have to ask Rachel. But it might be something you can hold against Brogar. You could use it to stop Brogar. If you challenged him to combat and won, that would embarrass him in front of everyone. But it wouldn't be easy. That's an understatement. Well, you started on this path. Every man chooses his destination. Where are you going? Whatever happens, I'll need to train. A man needs skills, and with the path you've chosen, you'll need more skills than most. 
There is no way I can beat Brogar with this useless equipment. If you're after a better blade, Oscar the Smith will sell you one. If that fails, you'll need another line of attack. Magic. John's magic? To Robar, the swamp farmer. Yes. He knows about yes, magic. Yes, yes, yes. And as he's outside the camp, people won't hear you buying stuff. Oh, that's some very good advice. Oh, I don't want to find this guy yet. Okay, I want to go talk to Lewis to see what he has to say about um, what's his face, the bully guy. Let's try. Uh, oh Let's yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, God damn it. Okay, now I should have enough gold. Wait, I thought this was Lewis. Where the hell is Lewis, though? I don't suppose... No. Anyway, I'll find it. I should be able to challenge Craig to a fight. And once I win against him, I should have a little bit of gold. But perhaps it's better to train first. I want to improve my fighting skills. Okay, this is super expensive. I want to be stronger. At least I want your learn. Yeah, I'm out of gold now, aren't I? Damn it. Craig has a piece of the sword blade that Don wants. So he says, but that bastard won't part with it cheap if he has got it. You knew he had a piece of the blade. <laughs> Nothing happens in this camp without someone mouthing about it. But you want me to pay for it? Either that, or you just take it from him. Taking it from him is that simple. Give him a serious pounding. The money's on the... And no... Well, it's not gonna... What... I got it. I have to challenge him to a fight. Which I will do, eventually. Seriously? I need 26 strength for that one. Well, these things sure aren't cheap. Okay, I'll have to figure out something to sell. Brogar is forcing Sam to work for him instead of hunting. He's sawing wood for Brogar's fire. That's why you've not been getting the meat you need. Damn Brogar. I thought he was trying to undermine Esteban. He'd be nothing without the Don, and now I need that meat. What do you want to do about it? Me? You do what you can. There'll be a full-on rebellion if stomachs go empty. If you want to help out, get me meat and get Sam back out hunting. Okay, I need to take a nap. What do you want? Nothing, I'm just going to take a nap. Oi! That's my bed! Okay, okay, sorry. Jeez. I was just going to take a nap. It's no big deal. Keep your hands to yourself as long as you're here. What do you want here? What do you think that's about? 
Ooh, that rain was really, really, really loud. You can go back to work. The insects are gone. Are they really gone? Gone. Dead. Deceased. Okay. You seem like the honest type. I'd best be getting back to work then. I'm afraid none of the fighters will come to help you. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. I thought so. The fighters, they aren't very keen on fighting. Thanks for trying, though. What do you know about a sword? A golden one? Well, I've heard stuff. And I thought I may have found a piece of it back at the excavation site. Have you still got it? I was about to dig it out when those insects came. I wonder if it's still there. Yeah, I did get that piece of the sword. Uh oh, dangerous stranger. Uh. God damn it. These keep these things keep showing up from behind me and it scares the absolute hell out of me. Are you Lewis? No. Hey. Who are you? What do you want? I'm not going back. I won't. Tell them I won't. What are you talking about? Easy, easy. I'm not here to cause trouble. That's what you expect me to believe. But as soon as my back's turned, you will drag me there, bury me again. Bury me with them. There, behind you. An enormous damn rockworm. What? Where? Man, you scared the life out of me. Don't ever do that again. Wouldn't dream of it. You said you don't want to go back. Back to where? Hawkins didn't send you. He wants me to go back digging there. But how can I go back? They will take me again. Well, Hawkins does want you back at work. I knew it. But I won't go. You can forget it. You want something to be afraid of? Really afraid of? There's nothing you can do that's close to what those spirits will do to me. I can't go back there. No one knows how to stop the ancients. It's not courage I need. I'm not afraid. Staying away from them isn't about fear. Find someone else for the job. Send Dwight. He doesn't hear them. He doesn't believe. But you'd better know. The spirits will come for you. And there is. No protection. Who is them? Them. The ancients. They're everywhere. Just listen. The screams. The whispering. I wish I couldn't hear it. I wish they weren't speaking to me. Take a few deep breaths. Relax, okay? Can't you see? It's all around us. The panic. People dying. The creatures. Can't you see that? They will rise from their graves to avenge themselves on the living. The ruins that have risen from the ground, who do you think made that happen? And they are but a herald. Soon, they will show themselves. Then we will all be doomed. Something is happening, but I've seen no evidence of spirits. What whispering? What are you talking about? It's those temples rising from the ground. The voices came from them. Who is it whispering? The ancients. All the things they find, the temples, they're from the ancients. 
And those idiots want me to dig them up, to desecrate their graves. The ancients have been disturbed. What do you think is causing these storms? And who knows how to fight them? Who knows what can stop them? Aha. Uh -huh. I have something that will protect you from the ancients. There is no protection. That's not what the mages say. They've been searching for objects like this amulet for a way to protect us all. That's just a cheap necklace. Have a closer look. How can this protect me? This is what people have been searching the ruins for. Answers. For protection. And they found something? Yes. Objects with the power of the ancients. Objects like this amulet will protect you. The mages guarantee you'll remain 100% spirit free. But we need to find more of these. More artifacts so everyone can be safe. Yes, yes, of course. That's why it's important for you to have this. If we're to protect everyone, we need you to look for things at the excavation site. Of course, of course. I'll do it. I'll help protect everyone. Uh, no comment. <laughs> That was one paranoid bugger. Ah. 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 Oh, I think I'm starting to do more damage now. Oh, please tell me it's not one of the swamp sharks. Yeah, it's a swamp shark. I don't know about that. Maybe if I had a better sword at least, but nah. Not that big of a treasure, was it? Whoa, that's too many of them. Maybe I can bait one at a time. Damn it. the hell it started raining again and it's raining all the time here I'm definitely not going close to that swamp shark yeah. 
I also don't think it's a... What the hell is that thing? Grave Moth. Ugh, I've had a lot of trouble with the Grave Moths before. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Mother Ducker, how many of them can there be? If I get myself surrounded, I'll die for sure. I'll die for sure! Okay, I got another one. Ah, uh, these things are just nasty. I saw someone shooting arrows though. Was it from that camp? I'll go check it out after I see what's in this cave. I just hope those mods were the nastiest thing. Wish I knew about prospecting. Yeah. Okay, there's someone dead over there. What the f Why is it always like this? Like always from my, from the back. Hot damn these freaking ninjas, man. Okay, I'm out of food now. I should still have some more fried meat or... Bread will do just fine. Okay, I should deal with this last moth. Mother docker, it hits like a truck. Is this guy Dorgan? List. Okay, I should read that. Sickle, not very good. Okay, let me see that list. It might be important. I still need to collect from. Oh ho ho! Maybe I should go about collecting. The list probably belongs to what's his face, to the bully. Ah! Okay, 
to be perfectly honest, I'm super skeptical about going inside here. What the blazes is that shit? A ghoul? No way, man. That looks like darkness incarnate. I'm not touching that thing. I need at least some decent armor or something for protection. Ah, Louis. You alone out here? What? Are you alone out here? Yeah, yeah, don't yell, I'm deaf. You see, my, my full of beer glass thing goes smash if you drop it. Are you joking? Hey, who do those beers belong to? What beers? Oh, the mine. Hey, I can't see them. Where are they? You're drunk. So, I'd rather be dead drunk than dead, and we're all gonna die soon anyway. You wait. When the white robe shows up, we'll all be as dead as... dead then. White robes? Yeah! The white robes. White! <laughs> From the Inquish... Inquis... <laughs> Inquisition? Yeah! What do white robes want in a swamp? Huh? They'll end up brown robes. Ha! Stinking. Swamp. Yeah. And what can you tell me about the white robes? They're everywhere. They came from the sea, from the mainland, and now they're sweeping across the island, wrecking everything. <laughs> Have you ever met a white robe? Are you insane? <laughs> I'd run like a stabbed rat if I ever saw one. I can believe it. Where's that damn bottle? It's my bottle. <laughs> Give it back, you stinking swamp. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. <laughs> oh, I can't drink enough. Have you been to the Don's camp? I can tell you once you've spent a couple of days there. You'll start on the source too, believe me. If you'd been there, you'd be me. Why? What's wrong with the camp? Bunch of total ass, oh, ass, oh, bastards. Always screwing each other over. I don't trust a single one of them. The worst bastard is Brogar, a nasty piece of work. He's a bastard's bastard. <laughs> Tell me more about this Brogar. The whole damn place is under his thumb. A fish. A fish. Fishly? Fishly, yeah. Fishly. <laughs> He's just the boss of the fighters. The Don's lieutenant. But he's more than that. Every man there is terrified of him. Even his shadow's scared of him. Because that Broga, he wants to replace the Don, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> right. You seem to know a lot about Broga. More than you think, and not just about Broga. You get me more beer, and then I'll really tell you. I get you more beer and I'll be lucky to understand you. I'll see what I can do. You mean a beer bottle? That's why I said. You got bad hearing, you know that. The bottle was right. It was here. No, here somewhere. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, 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 you got one. Huh. You're beautiful. <laughs> So, why is everyone so afraid of Broga? Ha! Why do you think he's the strongest fighter in the camp? No one can beat him. How do you think I can get Brogar to fight me in the arena? 
you can't be serious. Ha! He'll turn you into mincemeat and then dance on all the little pieces. <laughs> Just tell me what I need to know. The only thing that'll make a man like that come out of his shell, little shell, like a snail. <laughs> I like his snails all silver trail <laughs> moonshine. Like, mm, see. What will make him come out of his shell? <laughs> Who? Oh! Yeah. Fear, isn't it? You know, fear of losing control. He wants control of the camera. If someone comes and takes control, that'll piss him off. He'll want to show he's boss. Grind them into the dirt all the way in. Head first. Pull their head off and, you know, down their neck. You try this, <laughs> or we'll beat his fighters in the arena. That'll scare him too. Get him out of his shell. Right. Thanks. Here. You now you're... Here. I thank you. You are a gentleman, sir. A poet. <laughs> and you're definitely not an asshole. Thanks. Hmm. Uh, shouldn't you be hunting? Damn it, don't you start. Everything's going to hell, and I'm supposed to go hunting? No way! I'd rather sit here and have a little drinky dinky do. And <laughs> drinky dinky do. <laughs> if you start hunting, I'll give you a beer. Nope, that'll mean I gotta move, and I'm not moving. <laughs> you do it. Get hunting. Or I'll get unpleasant. Wait, wait, wait! I'm waiting. What? Right. Mm. You go and deal with these rats. They're over the... Oh, oh, south of here. If you come back, I'll give you 30 cold groins. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Those furry little rats you were worried about, they won't be looking at you funny again. Hey, that was fast. You're a pretty good hunter. Here, 30 gold coins. That's only 25. Yeah? Oh, well, <laughs> it's all I've got. I had 30 once. Oh, okay. As amusing as that was, I should go speak to Robar about spells. Also, maybe I can extort some gold from him, now that I've got the list. And maybe I should also take a nap. Because hot damn this rain just doesn't stop. your beer yeah but did you get my gold yes here it is that's a sight now I can get Brogar off my back thank you I won't forget this consider a favor owed. I've heard that you trade with novices I do but visitors have been rare lately I'm looking for magical items who told you to come here I get it none of my business as it happens, I do have some scrolls to sell. A protection spell. Oh, that sounds so good, but 200 gold, man? Man, I don't have that sort of money.
You not got better things to do? Please don't disturb me. Okay, let's see what Rachel has to say about that list I found. By the way, Lewis claims Brogar wants to replace the Don. Brogar's always been trouble, but since we've been in this swamp, Esteban's absence has really lowered morale. It gets tongues wagging and hands lazy. I wish he could see that. Talk to the men. This could be just the thing to get Esteban going again. Show him how bad things have got. But I'm going to need more proof than the word of a drunken hunter. Okay. What have you I really need to start selling some stuff. Did it. What have you Okay, maybe I'll sell that ring. And some of these mana potions. I know I'll desperately crave for them later, but... Right now, gold is just too damn important. Okay, let's see if this is enough for now. First of all, I need to train a little bit. Rail is Craig. I want. I want at least. Oh, good. Oh, you're learning. Okay, do I still have gold after all? Oh my god, I have five gold. Hot damn. No, forget about that. Okay, so unfortunately I cannot use the Bastard Sword, which is kind of what I wanted. Let me see. Well, I don't even know how much experience... Okay, I have... That's a lot. What have you got? Which means that I have to buy this one. No choice. I still have some pelts and whatnot to sell. Cold heart, some. Oh no, I need the boar skins, never mind. I also need the wolf skins. What the hell happened? Because I had a lot more. One gold left. Unbelievable. Alright. Let's hope this makes a difference. Wait, I need a hundred gold for this guy. Son of a gun. I don't think I have anything left to trade. Except maybe some of these. But what if I need to later eh. sell a joke spell
I want to I wear the arena and if you leave may the wood No right I got to do this and I gotta win Let's see if upgrading my weapon made a difference. Now you die. Whoa, it made a huge difference. Oh my lord, that made a huge difference. Very nice. If I could only get the the bastard sword. You think it'll be one-sided? Let's find out. You bastard. That gear is mine. I'll consider that your winnings, you bastard. I want... I'm ready to face Domingo in the arena. Now there's a fight should bring in some wages. Good luck. Winning against Domingo will make me a lot of money. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? You chicken, Domingo. You a big, fat, feathery piece of poultry. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is... You're the best fighter here. Come on. See these muscles? There's money in them. Here. Have a swig of this. Ah, that's the good stuff right there. So, how about the arena? Go on then. A beer. Someone to punch. Life doesn't get much better. You're clearly a man of simple tastes. The only one who's gonna get punched is you. Because I got this. Goddamn mace that I'm wearing is just sick. Time for a little less. Oh, it's not so effective against this guy. Never mind. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> still good. Okay, so you ain't bad, you ain't bad. I'll give you that. But your technique is all over the place. I With an axe? I don't know about that. Domingo will have learned to respect you. Your win took him by surprise. And me. Here, your winnings. I don't like paying out. But you did what you bet you'd do. Nobody will face me in the arena. That's one of the biggest compliments they can pay you. Yes, but I haven't faced Brogar. Ah, that's a different world altogether. Brogar won't fight just for the hell of it. His position in camp is built on his brawn and his ruthlessness. He can't afford for anyone to beat him in combat. It would weaken his power, so he's wary, as you should be. I know what I'm doing. You better. I want... I think I can beat Brogar in the arena. I think he'd turn you into paste. But first you'd have to get him to fight you. That's hard enough. I'll find a way. How much gold do I have? 77? God damn it. Right. They're all back at work. Things should get moving now. That is good work. That'll keep Beppo and his cronies off my back. Brannon has returned. I uh, saw. So I thought. I am. Uh, and. How did you. Let's say. Well. 
500 goddamn gold? Man, that, that must be some incredibly good armor. It's so expensive. There's no way I can afford that. Not a chance. Unless, maybe I can use that list to extort gold from these people. Whoa there. Someone shoot your dog? Stupid and mouthy don't wash well around here. Especially not from workers. Seems to be working for you. You must be new round here. I'll tell you what, since you're new in this pond, little fish, I'll cut you a break. But after that, your bones will get the breaks. You hearing me? See, folks around here do what I say. Now, enough questions. I'm hungry. Bring me a haunch of fried meat from Rachel, the cook up by the smithy. Bit snooty. But a looker. The Don's a lucky man. Of course, with him in that temple all the time, she might need a bit of company. Should I actually do this? Rogar wants a haunch of fried meat. And he sent you to get it for him? <laughs> Lazy devil. Well, I've already given you some meat, so you can sort Rogar out yourself. About the workers had downed tools, but I've got Brannon and Enrico to start work again. Good. One less worry. Here, take this. You'll need it. Well, she doesn't pay particularly good either. But no one around here does. Hey, I took the liberty of lifting that piece of the sword blade from you. You thieving bastard. <laughs> Rob a man when he's down, would you? You'd have done the same to me, Brogar. Here, a haunch of fried meat. Good. You wouldn't want to see me when I ain't been fed. Got any proper work for me? Are you actually good for something, little fish? Easy to be cocky with that weapon and fancy armor of yours. Nah, it's all the bodies I buried that make me cocky. Two of my boys are supposed to be guarding the eastern swamp farm. But Clay's been lazing around the campfire. Go and see him. Make sure he takes over from Phil before Phil rots up there. Simple. I'm not losing another man to this fucking swamp. Do you boys do anything other than stand about all day? They're guarding. What do you expect? When it comes to standing around all day, these guys are the best. Trained killers, though, the lot of them. And if those creatures from the temples march in here, you'll be damn glad of them. So, show a little respect. The fighters answer to you, right? Yeah. Most of them owe their lives to me. One way or another, they know not to mess with a big fish. So you know where they are at all times? Course. Well, usually. One of them has gone missing. Dorgan was on an errand for me, down in the swamps. The Pillock's probably got himself lost. Brogan. You ain't. I found Dorgan. Yeah? Where is the lazy bastard? He's dead. His body's in a cave near the swamp. Oh, well, if it keeps some swamp creature fading off my back, it'll be the first useful thing he's done. Now, did he have anything on him? Anything at all? I didn't search the body. You expect me to believe you didn't check him? You didn't go through his pockets for gold? I'm not into strip searching corpses. I'll leave that to you. You mean protection money. Shush! Not so bloody loud! Who are you protecting? What do you care? Did you know Ricardo isn't at his post? At the swamp excavation site? You telling tales now? Just being helpful. Well, unless you've got orders from me, stay out of my business. Why are you making Sam saw wood for you? What business is it of yours, little fish? 
you've had some firewood, now let him get back to hunting. And if I don't get wood for my fire, I'll be pissed off. You're pissing into the wind if you wait for Rachel to organise anything. You want something here, you have to take it. Yeah, I'm beginning to understand that. I fought and defeated all your fighters. Will you face me now, or are you a coward? Show a little respect, little fish. I'll fight you. Maybe that way I can teach you some respect. Um, is there any barrel of water here? Nope, I don't see any. Guess I'll have to eat something. Too bad I sold most things. Oh, here's one. Okay, this will not be pleasant. I get the feeling this guy is gonna be super tough. Hope you're ready for this. Huh? Huh? Whoa, I hit pretty goddamn hard. Huh? What the hell am I afraid of? Nice! That should teach him. Thorn Mace. Is this any good? Uh, no. Not bad. I'm impressed. Stay in my good books and I can make something of a scrapper like you. I think I can make something of myself. You get too cocky with people, it'll be a grave you're making for yourself. Ah, oh, you slimy bastard. That was easier than I thought it would be. I'm sure you have plenty to do. The Don's wife, uh, Rachel, seems tense about something. The Don put her in charge of this mess, and if she can't feed people, how can she control anything else? Brogar wants the Don out of the way. Proving Rachel useless only helps him. Too risky. About your hunting. Both your hunters are back out doing their job. Are they? You work fast. Your team's not the best I've seen. You take what you find. They're what I found. As for your training, maybe I can help. About Lewis isn't going to stop drinking anytime soon. I know, but when he's sober, or even when he's half cut, he's a damn good hunter. About Brogar. I defeated Brogar in the arena. I did hear that. That must have been some battle. Now keep the pressure on him. You're getting close to nailing the bugger. Word has it. The Brogar wants to replace the Don. That much is obvious. There isn't a man in the place who hasn't worked that out. But it's not something anyone says out loud. Words can get you killed. Oh, right. So the question is, what exactly am I going to do about Brogar? Brogar went down. You beat him. You really beat him. We're all human. Brogar? Human? Ha! <laughs> well... Here are your winnings. One thing, Brogar won't let this lie. I know. I want to make a bet. So, anyone else for me to fight? Nah, no one springs to mind. Surely you've got other things to get on with. People like you usually have. I now have all the pieces of the sword blade. I was right. It is a beautiful piece of work. Good job it has me to return some life to it, eh? 
And you still standing there staring at me? Supposes I owe you some sort of reward? Come back when I've finished the sword. I'll show you what a true craftsman can make. Here, from the ashes comes the phoenix, eh? Fucking beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Isn't it? Give it back to me now. You don't want to scratch that. Sorry. I think I'll keep this. Ha! <laughs> right. Give it back. I said, give me the sword. You fucker. You planned this. You just wanted the sword to get to the Don. Correct. You're gonna regret crossing me. No. Go fuck. I don't... Am I? I don't think I will. It's definitely better and it sure looks pretty. By the way, Dorgan, one of Brogar's people, had this list on him. Can I see it, please? Seems Dorgan was helping Brogar to pocket Esteban's gold. Where is he now? Dead. I found him in a cave near the swamp. This list will help. We'll need more evidence, though, if we're to persuade Esteban Brogar is working for his own interests. What more evidence, woman? I brought you, like, all the evidence in the world. I heard the Don was interested in a sword. A golden sword. Well, I've got it. Are you serious? So you actually found all the pieces? That's amazing, you can't even tell it was broken. Oscar certainly knows his metals. Surely this is enough to get me an audience with the Don. Are you kidding? He'll probably divorce me and marry you. I'm guessing that means I can go in. I'm not so sure I want to give this blade to him. Uh, well, it's not necessarily... Well, it is pretty good. And I only needed five, 500 more experience to buy that bastard sword. Well, I don't know. Should I go talk to the Don? I don't really want to join them. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Please don't disturb me. Okay, so I still have some things to do at least. Oh, it's this sleeping guy. What? Shouldn't you be standing guard by the swamp farm? Piss off. I don't care what you think of Brogar. But you see, now I am telling you to get out on guard duty. You are. That's right. There's a reason Brogar didn't come himself. Now I'll show you. All right then, you bastard. Whoa, this sword is pretty good. Pretty damn good indeed. Are you gonna stand guard now? Or are we gonna fall out? I'm going, I'm going. Okay, anything else aside from that? Anything else for me to do? Well, maybe one thing, if you're up to it. Try me. Okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. 
Have you ever collected funds generously donated by those grateful for their security? Hmm. Generously donated security funds. Clay's taken over from Phil on guard duty. Good. Pair of useless assholes. You want me to do this job or not? Hmm. Maybe you can succeed where that damn Dorgan failed. We're all the folks in this camp who ain't fighters. Go and tell them their monthly payment is due. Collect it, then bring the gold back to me. Simple. I'll take the job. But can I trust you? Could be you're a shifty little fish. I'll do it. Don't worry. Yeah, I want it done, and I want it done right. Well, guess what? I am a shifty little fish. Alright, so let's start with these guys in the swamp first. Hey, you there. What do you want? Oscar says hello. He paid me to knock you around a little. A lot, in fact. Right. So, either you give me more than Oscar did, or I tie your testicles round your neck. Screw you. <laughs> you just screwed yourself. Time for a little lesson. Let's see some blood. I'm sorry, you are saying. Whoa, what was that axe? Woodcutter's axe. Man, that's trash. You're not all there, are you? Well, <laughs> right now, neither are you. Lewis, he drinks a bit, doesn't he? Often, yes. But it's how he gets his iron. Don't ask me how, but it works for him. And he really is the best teacher around. If you say so. Brogar's sent me to collect the money you owe him. So, he's got you working for him. Thought you might have a bit more sense. Here, take it. Hope you choke on it. Now I should be able to handle most things, I think. With this new sword. It's quite shiny, too. It's almost too good for me. I'm here. Bro, I got you. Yeah, yeah, just give me the gold. Bro, take my gold. Okay, so I got these guys. I still have this guy. You're yeah! Okay, so there's Beppo here. Oscar. Oscar Dwight. You're looking ruffled. You run into some trouble? That was you saying hello, was it? You mess with someone's livelihood. Revenge is their undeniable right. Fine. Then let's count us even. I'm here for Brogar's money. What? Running Brogar's errands is no way to make friends here. Now they've got you collecting gold. Whatever you say. Now give me the money. Here. And I hope the guy got bite. I want... 
maybe it would help to have someone around. But you give me even two eightenies of shit, and you're out. Uh, I don't know if I'm that interested about uh, in that. So, I'm really looking to get this one, the Bastard Sword. And for that, I just need a little bit more strength from Craig. Where the hell is Craig? I want to be at least. Okay, there's no need to go all the way into strength because I think Bastard Sword is pretty much where it's at. I should be able to afford it too. God damn it. What have you got to Okay, so now that I have the bastards no, the bastard sword is two-handed. Are you joking? Uh, I'm not so sure about this. I think that having a shield is very important. Do you owe Brogar some protection money? For what? I don't need that. Brogar's collect. Mm. I have my suspicion. Tell Rachel. Brogon. I'm sure he'll get. Well, if there's any justice, he will. Well, never mind. I still have a couple of more guys. Dwight here and those two. So instead of turning in the protection money to Brogar, I'll just go to Rachel. Where the hell is that bastard? Son of a gun! Bro, yeah. Let's say, hmm, but it fur. I've got bog bodies wandering all over my. They were over, and I. Oh, really? I'll take care of the bog bodies. Then we'll talk about the gold. Over by the waterfall. Good luck. Well, I suppose that I could. This is a good test to see how good this uh, two handed sword is. Although I was so sure it was one handed. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> yes. Hey, I need some help. Clearing bog bodies from the swamp. Good luck finding it. Yeah. You see, I was thinking you could help me. See? Now you're almost sounding perceptive. So how about you get moving? I knew you were going to be trouble. Follow me. Oh, so that's how it is. Well, you kind of stole some experience from me back there, but... Come oh, well. On. Yeah. 
Nice. You looking at me for a reason? We have to keep moving. It's gonna take me a week to get the stink off my sword. You said you were bored standing guard duty. Yeah, right. Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Well, I have to say, this sword hits like an absolute truck. So, it may not be as good as having a shield, but... Ah! That was not fun. Let's not do that again. Hot ah, damn. Man, that hurt a lot. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard to hit with this thing. Some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. You can relax. I dealt with those bog bodies. Now that is a relief. I knew you weren't all bad. Here, take this as a thank you. Thanks, but I am still going to need that protection money. Here, take it. I hope I can get some peace now. Ah, I'm out of wine. Well, these are my rooms. Yeah, Please I know. That. I sold some of the wine back then. Oh well, I knew it was gonna come back me in the ass. I wonder if it's worth even going this way. Uh oh. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, so without the shield against these little ba bastards, I'm not gonna do very well, am I? It's good against swords and whatnot, but against animals, I have to dodge or I don't know. I'm just not good enough. Man, Mama didn't make me a fighter. I'm sure you have plenty to do. By the way, Brogar has ordered me to collect protection money for him. What? Really? And who are you supposed to collect it from? From all the men here who aren't one of his fighters. He's really gone too far this time. How long has he been getting money from them? No idea. Alright, just play along. 
Collect the gold and find out who's not paying so willingly. Then we might be able to put a nail in Brogar's coffin. He's not taking over this camp. Not while I live. I certainly wouldn't want to see him with any real power. Well, I think I have done that, so... Dwight paid, Oscar paid, Hawking paid. So, yeah. So about that lit There's no one left to collect from. Right. So where's my 200 gold coins? I did the work. I'm keeping the gold. I knew you were shifty. Think you can get one over on Brogar, eh? Well, you got a big shock coming, little fish, when you least expect it. <laughs> I think <laughs> the it's quite in reverse, actually. By the I collected all the money for Brogar. Now what? If my husband learns about this, he'll have Brogar killed on the spot. Then he'll give me hell for not keeping an eye on things. Perhaps if you go to Brogar and tell him what you know, threaten to pass it on to Esteban, maybe he might buckle. That would help keep things calm here for a while at least. Well, I'll try talking to him. Okay. I don't think this is going to be peaceful in any way. I'm thinking maybe I should tell the Don what I know, Brogar. About what? My protective, supportive funds? You think he'd believe a little fish like you over me? We'll see, shall we? Look, let's not get into a fight over this. I ain't forgotten the last one. I'll quieten things down, okay? Just don't think you can keep pissing me off. Wouldn't dream of it. Right. Good. Glad we got that clear. Eh. I don't care much for this guy. He's a bastard. But you were right. Brogar folded. Thank you. That will help calm things for now. Don't worry, that's not an end to it. When he's least expecting it, I'll slip something in his food. I know poisons that will work slowly to turn a person inside out over several weeks. Hmm. I might just stay away from your cooking in the future. Here, you've earned a reward. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let Esteban know about this. He'd just blame me. I'm not interested in getting you in trouble. Now that's out of the way, I'd better get back to work. Thanks for all your help. You find anything else? Let me know. I need a place to sleep. Hmm. Take Brogar's hut. I don't think anyone's going to dispute your right to it. Well, I arrived here with just a mouthful of sand. So a shack in the swamp is a step up, I suppose. Sounds about right. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he'll just give it to me. Let Sam go hunting. Okay, okay. Aren't you the soft-hearted one? Looks like you're moving on, Brogar. The Don's given me your hut. You better watch your step, little fish. Because as soon as you stumble, my blade will be waiting. Yeah, yeah. Don't think I won't be ready for you. You won't see me coming, little fish. If you say so. You can stop worrying about Brogar. I've dealt with him. You're quite something. With him gone, I just hope the Don will find his old self again. But that's me talking about us, and I get the sense you've already outgrown us. You've got a spirit of adventure. This swamp isn't going to be good enough for you. Well, guess I'd better get back to my own work, eh? Good luck with wherever you go. Cool. Where did Brogar go? I didn't see him leave. <laughs> Scaredy fish. Okay, and I did all of this without any armor too. Look at that. Maybe I should go inside now. I'm sure you have things to deal with. You're going to spend your whole life hanging Stop around. Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Guarding. Guess that's a really important job. 
Most important in the camp, I make sure people don't just stroll in to see the Don. He's very against strolling in, and I'm not pissing Rachel off or I won't get any grub. So, move along. Rachel says I can talk to the Don. Really? And I'm just supposed to believe you, eh? Shall I bring her here? I'm sure she'd be delighted to know her orders aren't being followed. Yeah, yeah, all right. I get the picture. Go in, but don't annoy him, or Rachel will be serving up both our guts for lunch. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Well, I would. Cormac. You might want to talk to the Don before you speak to me. Actually, I was wondering what else can I find around Boom, bang, here. Bang. The worst failures in alchemy. Boom, bang, a bang. What? Gold and water, the secret treasures of the desert. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Well, I would. You might want. Yeah, he can probably teach me something about alchemy. Is it your habit to walk into places unannounced? Who are you? A castaway. I've come to offer you my services. A castaway? I need true men. Lucky men. You saw your ship wrecked beneath you. Do you see that as luck? When all but one other died and I lived, I called that luck. Mm. Well, I suppose we're all castaways on this island. Cast away by life, now cast away by those stones. I'll give you a chance, castaway. Prove your luck to me. Uh, I don't know because I don't really want to join this guy. That's just the way it is. Your wife, Rachel, trusts me. <laughs> and now you suppose that I trust my wife? I can offer you something others don't. Loyalty. Loyalty is proven, not spoken. Words are just breath. You expect me to beg for your interest? You should be begging me. Now that's more like it. Pride. Pride gets eaten alive in this damn swamp. It gets swallowed by anger, poisoned by idleness. Sometimes I think Fincher is the only man jack of them left with any self-worth. And Fincher told me that you have pride. But do you have substance? I am in need of pride. So I shall give you a chance to prove yourself, Castaway. I'd like to know more about what's happening here. Why are you and your men in this swamp? The Inquisitor has his claws stuck deep into the flesh of this island. A firm grip on the harbor town and the monastery. Well, that's what he thinks. And that's what others see. The Inquisition's numbers growing. Men dragged into his service. What I see is a man making enemies. A man wasting his strength against the creatures and the ruins. So we wait here. The spider in the corner of the web, and we bide our time. What is the Inquisitor looking for in the temple ruins? White robes take everything they discover to the monastery. There the mages are working to unlock some secret. This much I do know. So far they've avoided this temple. But for how much longer? Do the white robes attack you and your men? Right now, they are avoiding open war. But if they don't find what they're searching for elsewhere, I'm sure we can expect their eyes to turn to us. What was it like before the Inquisitor was here? Corrupt, as any land ruled from the mainland. Governor after governor, bleeding the people, courting favor. When their men of the garrison were withdrawn to the mainland, we were ready. I took control. In the name of the people, the brothels were clean, the prices fair. 
men had dignity, pride, and the earth shook, the temple ruins rose, and the Inquisition and all their ways came after them. Why here? Of all the places they could have gone, why did they come here? The Inquisitor is hiding something from us, but I shall find a secret, and in the meantime I shall strip as much as I can from those ruins with gold. With gold, you can fight power. What do you plan to do? I want my town back. It is our town. It belongs to the people of this island, not the mainland. For that reason, I left some of my men there when we withdrew, gathering intelligence, frustrating the plans of the Inquisition. They were supposed to be sending me information, but I've heard little recently. These aren't times when plans run smoothly. How can I help you? Find out what is happening in Harbour Town. Find my men. I have no idea if my men are alive, in prison, dead, or worse, if they have defected. Go there. Discover the truth for me. About your pile of gold. You will be paid your due. Or was there more to that question than greed? Nothing. It was just a question. Hmm. So even you have secrets to keep. Is it true that you do business with Romanov? What is wrong with that? Pirates act for themselves and for good. The Inquisitor acts for his faith. Me, for my people. We all have our own beliefs. We all act in our own interest. Well, that's kind of all I need from you, really. So, the Don's giving you a chance. Yes. Lucky you. Lucky me. I know what it looks like, him skulking in that temple. Let me give you some advice. Don't underestimate him. He's just waiting for the right time. This island is the Don's, and he's going to take it back. Too risky. What do you do for the Don? I take care of things for him. Keep an eye on people. Right now, that mostly means the Inquisition, these white robes. These excavation sites are on our island. What right of the Inquisition to take everything? If you're not going to let them take you, you best get yourself some training. Are you expecting the Inquisition to attack you? They're building up their forces, pushing closer every day. It's only a matter of time before they try and overrun us. What do you mean they're taking everything? They're everywhere. A group of them even settled not far from the swamp in the southeast. They've been looting the temple ruin that shot out of the ground there. If we could capture that outpost, it would keep them off us for a little longer. Give those beasts chance to whittle down their numbers. Why haven't you captured it? Who is supposed to keep the white robes away? Brogar and his fighters. Brogar <laughs> won't risk himself. Brogar Funny. is out to look after himself. He won't risk himself or his men. Hmm. And who, in your opinion, should lead his fighters? You're a big boy. You lead the attack. Looks like I'll have to. You want to prove yourself. Come to the edge of the swamp over in the south, and we'll teach the Inquisition a little lesson. If you're not all talk, I'll see you there. You wouldn't want people thinking you were a coward, would you? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm. I want to do this. <sighs> if I'm to serve, I'll need better armor. Favors are earned. Prove your value, and favor will follow. Okay. Maybe I should talk to the alchemist. What can I do for you? Perhaps some healing? What can you offer for healing? Ah, I have potions to ease your wounds. I'm well versed in the art of alchemy and prepare all potions myself. Could you teach me something about alchemy? That depends. Are you ready to learn? Is your mind open to the knowledge? Am I ready to teach you? Yes, I think I am, but there are dangers. 
This is not a discipline to be taken lightly. I shall guide you, but you must beware. Surely not much can go wrong with mixing potions. Normally, no. But the ingredients we use here are strange. We are far from the mainland and the materials we are finding in these temples have unknown properties. My last experiment was almost literally my last, if you understand. So be warned. Tell me more about your studies. I am fascinated by those that built this temple. Unraveling their ancient, dangerous secrets. This stone, for example. Obsidian, these ancients called it. Hugely resilient. It served them as a raw material for their weapons and armor. Weapons made of this would be very damaging. So, if someone could find any weapons they had left behind. You're a mage, and you serve the dog. Someone has to take care of the boys here. It falls to me to do so. It's an honor, and it allows me to do what I need to. The boys here are a little exuberant, but we have an arrangement. I heal them, and they leave me to carry out my studies in peace. You study? Certainly. There is much to discover here. Like, for example, the magic barrier in the lower vaults. What can you tell me about the monastery? It was a place of reflection and study place of meditation. Now, though, it is little more than a brutal training ground for the Inquisitor. Where one silence and thought reigned, now there is the sound of quarterstaffs clashing as the Order's warriors practice. But there are those there who remain studious, who keep the Order's knowledge. Is there anyone there who will share this knowledge? Hmm. You could try Master Illuma. He teaches scroll-making. Simple magic it may be, but it would be a good idea not to underestimate the power of scrolls. Thank you. I will talk to him if I see him. I would. You won't regret it. What magic barrier? They were clever, the builders of this place. They did not rely on just iron and stone to keep people out. They knew the power of magic, too. If you ever venture deeper into the temple, You'll find that out. And this isn't the only place on the island they protected with magic. What must I do to acquire the skills needed in magic? That path leads you to the harbor town. I think you should start your search for magic there. Yeah, I know that already. What can you teach me about alchemy? I am ready to learn more about alchemy. You have learned about making potions through solution. But some plants need a little more preparation. You will need to filter and heat them more than once to take advantage of their properties. This method will also help you to strengthen solutions. Oh, so I can learn all the way, but... Yeah, I'm just not ready yet. Do you have things... Look at that. I just don't have enough gold. I'm not sure if I really want to spend a lot of gold on this. It's a lot of interesting things here. And here goes all my gold. Okay, so I kind of want to come back here at night. Maybe some of these people will be sleeping. Because I want to have a little look at this gold mound. Because this looks very <laughs> tasty, should I say. I could also use one of those illusions and I can definitely use an illusion here. Uh, 
Okay, let me use an illusion here first. Start again. It broke. There. This log is too difficult. Better start again. Damn. Wasn't it? Yes. Well, I think I made my gold back. And as far as this one is concerned. <laughs> okay, I think it was worth the investment. I shall also sleep until night. Okay, I hope this guy lets me get out of here. Well, he didn't seem to mind at all. Okay, I just wanted the alchemist to be gone. Wait, so what was that recipe I picked up? Oh, come on, you cannot be serious. Ah, okay, fine, my bad. Alright, so I do have one more illusion spell here. Let's hope this works. I don't think that worked as as I thought it would. Don't touch anything, right? I like what I see. You know what? I'm the boss. Obey me. Also, make me a sandwich. I don't know if I want to go down there. Something about a magic barrier, probably something I can't handle. Okay, so I wanted to get into Rachel's hut before, but it was daytime. That so, wasn't it. So now. There. I have free reign at it. Wow, Rachel, wow. You have a lot of stuff here. A lot of good recipes, too. Oh, let a girl sleep. Huh? About your camp. I've got everyone back to work on the tasks you'd given them. Well, you're not like everyone else around here, are you? I'm impressed. There has to be more that needs doing. Single minded, aren't you? No, but here's something as a thanks. Hopefully this camp will run a little smoother from now on. You don't have to worry about your food supplies anymore. 
Sam is back out hunting. So I heard. You've got a knack for this. Here, take this gold. Don't spend it too quickly. By the way, don't worry. I didn't tell your husband about the business with Brogar. Thank you. Like I said, he'd only blame me. Take this. It's all I can spare, but loyalty should be rewarded. I wish it could be bought. Well, I think my gold is... Whoa! <laughs> wow. I have a lot of gold now. Way, way more than I thought I, wish I should. Or that I would... Yeah, I couldn't sleep anyway. Mm. No, I I think I'm done. What was that? I still have this to do, but I'm not sure if I want to. Wait a moment. Okay, I'm taking a nap first. Oh god damn it's raining. I'm thinking that perhaps is now worth buying armor. Although I got to be fair, I did pretty well without it. So I'm not sure if spending 500 gold is a worthy investment. Nah. I think I'll survive. One thing that I didn't do, there was this weird creature inside here. And I should also probably switch back to sword and board. Okay, so inside this cave there was something called whatnot. Uh, a ghoul, right? It was a ghoul here, and I wonder how strong that is. I'm quite prepared to run away though. Oh my god, that looks so freaky! So I had a premonition that if I fought those things, I would die in a lot of pain. <laughs> so yeah, perhaps it's too early for me to tackle some of these uh, weird devil looking stuffy stuff stuffs. Lot of gold, nice. Uh oh. Where the hell am I? Oh, is it uh, above the farm? Yeah, I think so. Cool.
So I guess I kind of skipped fighting those guys at the temple back there. I'm not sure if I really, really want to. Considering that I want to join them. Mm. Oh, would you look at that? So apparently eating apples gives me strength. Isn't that cool? Oh, this is such a huge difference from before. This sword is really amazing. Okay, so I needed five pelts of each. Let me see what I have. Okay, I have eight of those and six wolves. That should be good enough. I'm not sure if I can. What are you doing here? Oh my god, you scared me, dude. Nothing. Okay, I think perhaps now I can tackle these. Come on, you ugly bastard. Oh, you cannot be serious. Ugh. Gotta say, they are pretty unpredictable. So I really have to keep that shield up all the time. And wait for them to attack me.
Oh, now I got two of them. Not ideal. Damn it. I was too greedy. Whoa. I got hit by a nuke. Oh, this looks like a cave. I just hope there's nothing freaky inside. Like those devils. Oh, I see a ghoul. Nope. Definitely not. Hard pass. Hmm. Okay, so I know I have to go this way if I want to get back. If I go the other way, I probably have to pay the guard again, which is not very good. I mean, one goddamn hit and I'm already at half HP. I have to make it a priority to get some good armor. Mm, this smells good. Then I better eat. Now I get the feeling that this place probably goes to somewhere I don't want to be. Ah, ah. 
Wow! Uh, oh. Yep, I should definitely listen to reason <laughs> and stay away from the places that look like they're gonna go to somewhere complicated. Or better said, I should stay closer to the beaten path. Alright, so this is the infamous Inquisition that I'm supposed to stay away from, huh? They don't seem pretty or very concerned with me being here. They got other things to worry about. Ho oh, ho, what do we have here? Come on, you silly bugger. So much for you, filthy beasts. Better if I don't get too close, just in case. <laughs> it would be funny though to see them chasing after me.
Did I check this chest out? I think I did, right? Yeah. Alright, so here I go, a long glass, back into the city. Time to solve all my unfinished business. 